in this video we are going to talk about cloud native what is cloud native why should i go for cloud native approach if you are new to byte programming and don't want to miss any updates remember to subscribe so what is cloud native in a very simple terms it is an a way or approach to build your application such that application could utilize the advantage of cloud computing model before understanding the characteristics or components of cloud native we should first understand why there was a need to shift from traditional model of application design and architecture so why do i need to shift from traditional approach if you are a newcomer to a project it would be a very tedious and difficult job for you to understand the code base this is because in case of monolithic architecture the application is growing on a regular basis and the new development is already adding to the same code base so the, now the code base has become a too large it generally follows waterfall so the feedback of the development of software would be come at a later point of time even if you manage to develop properly uh, there could be chance that the application that you developed would run fine in a, a lower environment but maybe in a higher environment due to environment mismatch between lower and higher environment your application would have an unpredictable critical behavior so there would be wastage of time to analyze the difference between the higher environment and the lower environments also for a minor change in your code base you would require to do regression test for whole of the code base so cloud native approach resolve all these issues so we will let's see the characteristics of the cloud native and how they are resolving all these issues so in case of cloud native characteristic the first one is a api based uh, approach in case of an api based approach all the components that we are developing would be a uh, considered as an api and it should have an endpoint that would be exposed so that other could utilize it so it is uh, you can say as a service we are developing it all the components uh, should be a microservice so that they are independent of each other now the point is we can't break everything into a microservice so either it could be a terms of event based approach or something you make a monolithic and break into such terms that they are independent in terms of business and this would interact with each other once you develop your code you would require it to promote to the higher environment for that you would need containers for example you need dockers to promote it to the higher environment suppose you have a four environments for your application dev test pre prod and prod you would required to create a container image of your application along with the runtime environment to avoid the environment mismatch that was happening in a monolithic or traditional way of uh, application approach all these things uh, for promoting to high environment building var and jar from your code base running static code analysis tools to check vulnerabilities should be done in automated way so you require devops for that thing now you will have a continuous integration pipeline and continuous deployment pipeline which will build your jar or var from your code base and move it to the higher environment through automations without involving um, manual efforts now you would require an orchestration tool like kubernetes this is because as you have multiple microservices 
and you have multiple instances of microservice also so you would need to create container image of each of these microservices so managing of the container image would be a tedious task as the number would be very large so to manage the containerization you need an orchestration tool like kubernetes so these are the most important characteristic of a cloud native approach in the next video we will look at the journey path from scratch to the broad of an application in a cloud native architecture and what are the steps involved within this path